In this Black Myth Wukong video, I bring you the location of the first easily missable boss, which upon you defeating him, rewards you the fireproof mantle, as well as giving you the ability to craft some of the best available early game armor. This you don't want to miss. Now to celebrate the release of Black Myth Wukong, I am giving a copy away. Now don't forget this game is only available currently on PS and PC. Xbox players have to wait. But if you want to win the game for yourself or a friend, uh, it's as simple as this. Like the video and leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I will be posting plenty of Black Myth Wukong videos, so the more I see you active on them, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will pick winners and announce them on Sunday's video, so good luck everybody. If you're an Xbox player and you win, well I'll just buy you the game when it releases or I'll just give you the money to buy any game you like. Simple as that. So good luck everybody. Okay, so there is a secret early game boss called the Elder Jinchi. Uh, he's like a big golden baby. But upon you defeating him, he gives you some amazing early game items. So to unlock the secret location where you'll find this boss, you have to find three hidden bells. Well, I say hidden, two are more or less in plain sight, but the third you can easily miss. So the first bell is found real early game and is basically being protected by a boss called Guangxi, I believe that's pronounced. Yes, I suck at pronouncing names, people. The names in this game are all wild, so I'm gonna get them all wrong. I apologize in advance. So from the forest of walls outside the forest shrine, head this way to this boss's location. Now upon you defeating this boss, uh, getting rid of this sucker, the bell is located right behind him where he's standing where you initially go into his arena. So go ahead and ring it. Okay so then as you progress on the game, only slightly further on though, you will come to the Bamboo Grove Snake Trail Shrine. From this point guys, follow the path I take on screen now to yet another boss. So yes, this leads you to another boss you have to take out called Guang Mao. I can't, these names are wild people. But this boss is pretty straightforward, so yeah, do what you gotta do. Now once you have done this, don't leave the area. Instead, run up those steps to find that second bell. The ring away, guys. Okay, so as you quickly progress on, you come to the Bamboo Grove, Marsh of the White Mist Shrine. From here guys, follow the short path I take on screen now, to the White Chad Noble Bus. Now 
Now I won't lie, this boss was truly kicking my ass. His two phases firstly put me off and then were just taking me out. But I actually clutched it in the end, defeating him with a minute bit of half left. Pretty cool. So upon you taking out this boss, instead of going straight forward towards those steps, instead turn left and follow this path I take between this like well into like a cave or through a cave, and you'll find a third bell. Here you want to move the way. Now there are a couple of enemies in its way, but they are easy work, so take them out. So upon you ringing that third bell, you then spawn in a secret area. Here you want to go up those stairs and trigger that shrine, that save point. From here guys, go up the steps after collecting that loot from those chests and you'll find the Elder Jincha boss fight. To be honest, it isn't hard. Uh, the thing to know if you haven't fought him already is that around his halfway point through his health bar, he levitates on the spot and spawns in loads of enemies that walk towards him. If they get close enough to him, they bow and replen his health. Your job here is to simply hit them so they vanish and not replen his health. Yet a simple, single light attack is fine. Don't bother trying to combo them or get yourself into a combo because you need every split second possible to make sure that they don't replen his health and loads do end up spawning in so hit one with one simple light attack, run to the other and rinse and repeat until they're all gone. Ok so upon defeating this boss you then teleport back to a gift waiting for you. When you examine it you are rewarded the fireproof mantle. Which as you can see this is what it does, upon you activating it which is assigned to your right trigger left thumbstick combo for a short duration after activation grants burn immunity and gradually increases focus, highly effective in specific environments and against specific enemies, so something you're probably going to need later on. You also guys now have access to crafting an amazing early game armor set known as the bronze monkey set. So come to any shrine, go to craft, then armor, and you'll see this armor set is waiting for you here to craft. Badass looking, so yeah, pretty cool guys. But there we have it, people. How to find the first easily missable boss and what you get for defeating him. Some pretty cool rewards here. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Black Myth Wukong, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.